A so-called anti-puppy mill bill is one step closer to Governor Holcomb's desk. It passed its second reading in the Indiana Senate on Thursday. While animal welfare advocates are confident the bill will pass its final reading next Monday, several said that they're split on the issue. And Adamson explains. The canine standard of care bill would void 21 ordinances across Indiana that ban pet stores from selling dogs. Instead, the bill would put harsher restrictions on which breeders pet stores could work with in an attempt, some say, to put bad actors out of business. This will make Indiana have the highest standards of welfare in the country. Jonathan Lawler is the public policy director for the Indiana Council of Animal Welfare. He says under an anti-puppy mill bill, pet stores must work with breeders who are USDA or canine care certified. We're submitting to regulations so that people, consumers, can have confidence and so there is actual canine welfare standards that are statewide. But the Humane Society of the United States says it's concerned canine care certified standards are not publicly available. If we're talking about transparency and we're trying to improve standards, that those standards should actually be uh, available to members of the public. Chapman says she's also concerned the bill preempts local control of the issue and that provisions surrounding how these new rules would be enforced aren't strong enough. There's not any type of um, required language in that bill and so we worry that um, this bill just really continues to allow pet stores to operate the way that they continue to today. But Lawler says the bill doesn't necessarily eliminate local ordinances so much as it resets them. The city can still keep a pet store from selling just solely USDA dogs. What they cannot do is they cannot bar the selling of a canine care certified dog. Lawler also says anyone can see the canine care standards via a special request. Reporting from the State House, I'm Hannah Adamson.